Today we're taking a look at the Orange VT-1000. Depending on what side of the pond you're from, it's either a valve tester or a tube tester. Now this tube tester is intended for the average consumer that owns tube amps. You don't have to have a high degree knowledge of how to repair amps or work on them to test your tubes. It's meant for the average guy. Now <clears throat> what it's doing is it runs over 20 comprehensive tests. Here's a list of a few of them. While it's doing that, it's taking thousands of micro measurements on your tubes in a matter of about two minutes to provide you feedback whether it's good, used, or fail, or bad. At the same time, it also provides you a unique value for that tube so you can help match it and create matched pairs. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this tube tester by testing the four tubes out of this amplifier. Now before we get started, I should mention that there are three sockets here. Socket 1 is for your Octra Power tubes, things like EL34s, 6L6s, and 6V6s. Socket 2 is meant for only for EL84 tubes. The third socket is your preamp tube set test socket, things like 12AT7s and 12AX7s. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to plug it in and show you how easy it is. But before we get do that, uh, Orange recommends that you wear gloves when handling your tubes uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, one, I don't like to get my skin oils on the tubes because I don't think that's good for them. At the same time, they get hot and you don't want to burn yourself. So when you're testing your tubes, you want to make sure that all your tubes are not hot at all, have not been previously used uh, and not previously tested within you know a short amount of time. You don't want the tube to be hot. You want it to be nice and cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the preamp tubes first and we're going to start with those. So once you've got your tube out, you just plug it in the proper socket. So this one here, this is a 12AT7 and it is an ECC81. So that matters because we got to select the right tube. So we're going to plug it right in. Hit the OK button and then select the proper tube. So we want the 12AT7 and then the ECC81. Once you've selected your proper tube, then you just hit the OK button. It starts running the tests on that tube. So we'll just wait for it and then we'll get a value back whether it's good, bad, and what its uh, unique numbers are. <laughs> All right, the test is complete and we've gotten back a result of good on the tube and we get back, uh, since this is a preamp tube, it's got a section A and a section B in the tube. So section A is the blinking flashlight or the light, the LED that flashes, and section B is the solid light. And that gives you those unique values for each one of those parts of the tube. So in this case, my solid light is eight and my flashing light is 10. So section A is 10 and the solid side is eight. All right, now that we've completed the test on the 12AT7, the ECC81, we're gonna remove that and we're gonna test the other preamp tube real quick. Now this one here is a little bit different. This is a JJ EC83 instead of a 81. So we're gonna insert that in the socket nice and securely. Turn it on, select the proper one and run the test. Now the test is good, done. You can see that uh, it's come back good. Now as you can see here, section A, the flashing light here, gives us a reading of nine, and section B, the solid light, gives us a reading of 12. This is obviously different than the other tube there, so these aren't exactly a matched pair, but the good news is both tubes are good. Now that we're done testing the preamp tubes, I went ahead and installed them back into the amplifier. Now we're going to take a look at the EL84s and test those. 
Now you can see here on these particular tubes, we have a spring there that's holding them in. So we're just gonna lift that up, pull it to the side, and pull out the tubes so we can get ready to test them. And just wiggle it right out of the socket. Now I wanna return these back in the same sockets, so I make sure to put them on my towel here in the same order. Okay, so we're gonna be testing this EL84 here. Make sure that we put it in the socket number two because this is the EL84 slot socket. Make sure we get that in there nice and tight. And then again, real quick, hit the okay. We're gonna select EL84, hit okay, let the test run. As you can see here, the test is about to complete, and we should get a reading. The test is just finished, and it's come back worn with a rating of 4. The lower the number, the more use it's got. The higher the number, the, the newer the tube and the better it is. Um, so this is at 4. It's come back as worn. Now, Orange recommends if you get a worn, you should replace that tube as soon as you can. It's not like it's bad, but you should replace it. So let's go ahead and test, test the other tube. Before we do that, again, just want to keep in mind that this test, this tube has been tested. It's gotten hot, so you want to let it cool down before we take it out and put in the next tube. And again, this last tube has come back as worn with a rating of 5 rather than 4. So they are closely matched. However, they're both worn and need to be replaced as soon as I possibly can. Well, I've returned all four tubes back into the amplifier and we got different results. We got two that were good and two that were worn for the EL84, so we need to replace those. So that's my look at Orange's VT1000 tube tester. Make sure you learn more about this product and other great ones by visiting the website listed below. And I want to thank all you, my viewers. I've hit 1 million views and that is a huge milestone for me and I really appreciate you all checking out my videos. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and find me on Twitter and Instagram at Selenium. You can also learn more about our radio show, The Flow Guitar Enthusiast, where we talk guitars, tone, and gear with the artists, the luthiers, and the manufacturers we all love. Make sure you visit www.flowguitarenthusiast.com. You can also like us on Facebook, The Flow Guitar Enthusiasts. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.